So driving up behind this guy right here, and he just decides, I guess he owns the road, and he's just going to run this red light. I, I guess it's normal around this area, Chicago. Absolute crap hole. But I, can't, I guess it's normal. Just run the red light. No big deal. I just got to this Lowe's parked. I got a ton of dust. So I'm going to clean some of this dust off. Let me show you how I do that. I saw got this rag nice and wet with Lysol. That way it grabs the dust. Now let's go ahead and wipe all this down right here. Look at all this dust. I got bad allergies. And I have been not feeling good today at all. So trying to keep this dust to a minimum, I think is super important. What do you think now? <laughs> Go ahead and uh, fast food napkins I'll go ahead and hit up here on the dash too because I am sure there's dust up here That's my ELD right there try to clean up the best I can when I can my allergies are so bad I've even had my wife help me with this before cleaning the dust off because sometimes I'll come out here and do it and then I feel like crap afterwards but I'm out on the road right now and I gotta get it done so yeah and when I'm done with this rag, I'll just pitch it. I'll buy a big bag of them at Walmart. So, yeah, as you can see, my windshield. Oh, this is just that time of year. There's bug juice all over it. So, I'll stop tomorrow and get a truck wash. You know. Check this out. So, I was down on I-40, and I stopped in at uh, Hazen at the loves there and they had a uh, truck wash I pulled in I thought you know just like a, a blue beacon or whatnot they're gonna scrub the truck down clean it and uh, I'll be on my way well it's an automatic truck wash and just check this out check out this new automatic cleaning at one of these loves man it's crazy it's moving automatic Rubbing the sides. Pretty cool. It's new technology. I don't know what the I don't know what the good is in having an automatic truck wash if they have to wash it by hand after the automatic truck wash is done because it didn't do a good job. Uh, just my thoughts. That seems kind of inefficient. <laughs> so check this out. I can't quite figure this out. This is the air for my sleeper. And as you can see, the light is on. And when I climb back here in the sleeper, turn the light on. Turn it on. The light comes on, but nothing's coming out. 
it's not even kicking on i mean hot or cold it don't matter lights coming on so i'm going to check the fuses and if all the fuses are good i'm afraid i might need a new blower motor but we shall see i'll show you how to check them fuses too on a peterbilt the fuse box is going to be right under the bunk in the back so right there's the fuse box and i got one of these it's basically like a multimeter tool so it's got a little ground and then it's got a prong so that you can check the fuses take this off you can see i'm going to take and connect this to something bare metal like that and then we're going to check these fuses and what you want to see is you want the you want the light to come on and you can buy this tool at just about any truck stop for like 10 15 bucks it's not like i said it's not a multimeter it's more or less just a fuse checker it works the same way as a multimeter does like all the fuses checked out my blower motors over there under the bunk so that's what it's looking like guys I'm gonna stop in a maintenance shop and see how quickly they can change out my blower motor so I'll let you know I'll bring you along for the ride